What's up everybody, for the win Itachi here, showing you today Pokemon Go Pokestops. As you guys can see, I have a blue square on my screen, that is what a Pokestop would look like when you are currently too far away from that Pokestop. I'm going to go ahead and spin it, and as you guys can see, nothing is going to happen. But, what you can do with a Pokestop is a few different things. But once you get close enough, the Pokestop will change from the blue square to a blue Pokeball, meaning you are in range of collecting items such as Pokeballs, Potions, and uh, the Raspberries, and Max Revives, you name it, you can get that from a Pokestop. But I'm going to spin this one, and currently my bag is full. So that's what's going to happen when your bag is full, when you can't collect any more items. I'm going to go ahead and go back into this. Uh, you can go ahead and click on the top, which says California State University Northridge for my current location. And it'll show you a more in-depth picture. And you can also attach a lure module to this location, which will attract Pokemon to this location for the next 30 minutes. But that's pretty much it about Pokestops. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys... Uh, a little bit more about Pokestops, and uh, basically this next bit of, bit of footage is basically me walking around for a good, like, two minutes and getting, Poke uh, getting uh, Pokemon items uh, from the Pokemon Go game from local Pokestops, and that's pretty much what Pokestops is all about. Uh, getting 50 experience points per Pokestop, plus getting the uh, items as well as attaching lure modules to them and attracting Pokemon to that given location. But without further ado, thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and peace out.